Hi guys, you might be familiar with this fruit known, well, this is just a slice of it, of course, the papaya. Highly nutritious and delicious, has loads of seeds. And I want to show you today something really, really cool you can do with your papaya seedlings. So a few months ago, I had an order for 10 papaya plants. And I needed to start them from seedling. I don't have papaya here. So I set some seedlings in a pot. I'm going to take a, a piece of this. This is delicious. Hold on. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Now that was awesome. Papayas. So I ordered, I planted a whole bunch of seeds because, you know, you never know which, one are, which ones are going to take and which ones aren't. So I put the whole bunch, like about 150, maybe 200 seeds in a small little thing just like this. Just like this with a little bit of soil and I put about 200 seeds in there. I will now lock the video. I will now connect the video where I transplanted them from seedling into little pots. And then you can see, watch that process. And then I'm going to show you something that's going to blow your mind. Totally awesome. Today we're transplanting some papaya seedlings. Little tiny roots like that. And there's a lot of them to go. I just threw them in this thing and they started growing like crazy. So now I'm going to transplant them into slightly bigger pots. They'll do it for about two weeks in that. And then I've got to transplant them into bigger containers anyway. But for now, I'm going to go with the little cups. Okay, I'll get back to you when it's done. So now we're gently putting some soil in there like that. And I'm using a ratio of four parts soil, one part coffee grounds for my seedlings, my papaya seedlings. And there you go. Let's see if I can show it that way. And that's going to be a happy papaya someday. Someday in the very, very near future. And there you go. That's one down and about 200 to go. <laughs> this is fun. So as you just saw in that previous video, in that previous part, where I uh, was transplanting the papaya seedlings into little cups, this is what happened. These are the seedlings that it transplanted a few months back. And as you can see, they're still here. They're still doing fine. I give them very little nutrient just so they won't die. Like I will give this one a little bit of nitrogen. Looks a little bit yellow. And I keep them like this almost indefinitely. I don't water them too much every day. I just give them a little bit of, uh, of water and they will stay like this on pause until I'm ready with space and then I'll show you this I put them into one gallon pots the minute they get into one uh, one gallon pots they start exploding this, these are like I put them in this pot like on Monday and look at them some of them are already wow getting thick trunks there and then I keep them here until I have enough space again, because I just don't have the space to put to plant them right now, I transplant them into three gallon buckets like this, or three gallon pots, not buckets, but anyway. And then they just explode. Now, when these get picked up, I can then go take another group over there, plant them into 
three gallon pots and let them explode and sell that. And then I can take my little seedlings, put them in ten uh, in one gallon pots, and keep growing like that. Without trashing my existing seedlings, they're practically on pause right now. Their growth is on pause. And you can do that by keeping them in little cups like this. Good, uh, good soil, a little bit of... Uh, um, nutrients and not too much water so you can put the plants on pause and then when you're ready to grow them or sell them you hit the play button you put them into bigger pots and they will explode and go just like that hope you guys like this video thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button thank you for watching cheers guys